Hello everybody and welcome back to the final part of this uh, episode. What is it? The, the last episode? Kieran! Where'd you go? Kieran! No! Let's be real. For. Kieran's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Kieran! 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 Um, so anyways... Trying to cast a message up there? <laughs> It's a bit far for message. Yeah, so, way too yeah, we call that praying. I wanted to check. We call that praying, Ollie. Um, when all of a sudden, uh, an explosion happens inside <clears> that <throat> chamber. What do I gotta do? Luca, you are in front of this guy, and there is a poor woman on the floor that is chained to the floor to control this thing. When this bomb goes off, what goes through your head? Ah. Uh. If I would have time to react, I would drop to, uh, like, cover her and myself with my shield. Could you do me a favor? Could you roll me a dexterity save? Sure. I'd try to cover her more than myself. Don't forget, your save gets a d4, but it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a no, natty yeah. one. So what I have yeah. to say is it doesn't matter. You are able to drop to the grounds. And you're yep. able to cover her. However, the covering of her is very unceremonious. And as to whether or not it's going to be effective, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This is what happens. <clears throat> Nico, make me a dexterity save. Da, na, 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 na. <sighs> Things aren't going well for you guys right now. Oh, that, it's on 20. Fucking it's absurd, on 20. Dude. No, no, no. That's that's actually like... No, I know. I'm, two, I'm kidding. You know? I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. The other one was a hundred percent. I was like, "Fuck you!" But anyway, so um, so uh, this is what happens. You see this. You literally see the thing going in, and you're like, "Fuck!" And you drop to your knees right as the explosion happens, and throw yourself forward on top of her unceremoniously. Your mm -hmm. shield's not in the way. The only thing between her and excuse me, that fire is the meat of your body and your brand new, beautiful brand new cloak. Um. Uh, yep. As all of a sudden that explosion goes off, yeah, yeah, the mm -hmm. explosion goes off. That's scary, but the explosion was enough to the shard breaks. The shard shatters, and there's a huge explosion of fire out everywhere. Thank you, Nico, for making your saving throw. So you're gonna take half damage from this. Give me one second. There's gonna Wait. be fire damage towards Nico. One second. My Nico four? did not make his saving throw. Oh no, I'm sorry. You fail your saving throw. You take this damage, Nico. So I'd say even with the total <laughs> four. Uh, outside of the room with a blast of fire that comes out, you take 27 points of fire damage. Where does that put you, Nico? 27 points. That puts me at uh, 33. Okay. <clears throat> wow. You have a lot of health. Cool. So that puts Ouch. you at, well, he's also level five. So yeah. um, so you get thrown uh, up against a wall. So the 27 points of fire damage, an additional, uh, sorry, because you get thrown against a wall, uh, bludgeoning damage of three. So 30 points of damage total uh, as you get smashed up against a wall. Um, pfft, everything happening behind you. All you can think of when you finally kind of get your senses back to you is you were outside of the room. You got the blast that came out of that doorway. Your brother is still in that room. Did what's her face get in the way? She didn't take any damage from that. Um, she was around the she corner was right slightly in front more. Of me. But hold on, hold on. Let me make my save. You're like I, I don't care if my brother's dead. Is that bitch dead? Uh, she actually um uh, fails her save too. She's gonna take a ton of damage. She's gonna get burnt. We'll get to her in a second. Okay. Um, so that's what happens to you. Uh, Stalbor. And, uh, Reich. Reich. Uh, could both of you do what you're doing down there? <laughs> this is one Arcana checks? This mm -hmm. is reckless. Okay. Uh, you realize the place where you're telling him to hit before, uh, wasn't actually a fracture. It was an imperfection in the stone, but it wasn't a fracture in the stone. It wasn't like a weak spot. You took, you gave him a better spot for him to hit. Uh, Reich, make your attack again. I don't want to. In case there's yeah, confusion, in case there's confusion, Nico is level five, the party's level three. Yeah. Nico is my hardened brother. He's your identical twin brother that's three minutes older than you and way better in every way. Well, hold on. I'm older. <laughs> I'm older. Sure. 
Um, and he has a different color eye. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mom, mom always says that to the less loved child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're older. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. So, anyways, twenty three. Um. That's really sad damage because uh he's there, kind of specifically guiding your attack. I was gonna double that, which isn't a ton, but you do start putting cracks inside the thing. Uh. Now, uh, make me another attack roll. God, I don't have a second attack. That's okay. You can do it anyways. If you're assuming the amount of time we're taking while that all this stuff's going on, it's he's fair, I guess. Kate, may roll me your damage. Uh, make me a uh, Arcana check. Me? Who do you think? What do you think, <laughs> sir? You find an even better crack now that he's been uh, hitting it up more, but you don't think that the the katana is the best way to do it now. You've seen what Reich's fists can do. We're going to have to put on hold for that for a second. Um, uh, all of that stuff that I just explained happened. Kieran! How yeah. many? Did I take 27 <laughs> points of damage? or? Holy shit, Kieran. Uh, mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you see like, the ship is starting to slowly go down. Then you start to see... <laughs> so instead of like a huge continuous ring of fire that's spinning in a circle like uh, imperceptibly fast, making it seem like it's, a, it's like a constant just circle that's there as opposed mm -hmm. to uh, a current that's going extremely fast, right? Faster than the eye can see. You start to see like little, like, uh, and no. so it gets to the point where it's actually less often fire than uh, not fire. You know oh. what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so um, you're like, oh shit. So and the ship starts to like junt and then starts to like go down and then stop and go down and stop. And even though the ship is made out of sore wood, this ship yeah. was poorly designed to be luxurious oh, no. and not just oh, float no. in the air. It's a okay. huge ship. You heard the design is foolish. Yeah. The bottom of okay. its crystal Do for Christ's sake. Do I know sakes. where the elemental is? Do um, I, would I know where it is? I mean, you can, you can, uh, uh, yeah, well, you know, like where the doorway is. And so you, now that you've already been like trying to make your way there, make your way downstairs, mm -hmm. uh, and you can hear the explosion where it came from and see like mm -hmm. a burst of fire down the hallway that kind of like took over. You can see which direction to go. Yes. I just book it. Just run. Make me an acrobatics check to try to get there who quickly. Is, yeah. Running towards me. Mm -hmm. Running with me. Fun. Acrobatics! Check. Acrobatics, I got it, I got it. 14. So you're 14, you try to get there as quickly as you can. Sadly, uh, as mm -hmm. you get there, what you see, uh, what you come to find is on the ground, um, you're not sure exactly what it is you're looking at. There's like a, a, a charred gray mess on the ground in front of you. Um, mm -hmm. And then over uh, uh, beyond that on the ground, there's Nico kind of like rolling over and coughing and trying to like get like uh, uh, put out fires on his arms, like literally still burning mm -hmm. chest hair, like trying to like burn uh, chest hair on his arm. <laughs> He's got <laughs> such a hairy chest. That's how manly he is. He's trying to put out the fire on his, uh, his arm hair and part of his beard is singed and stuff like that. And he's like coughing up soot and he's trying to like uh, clean himself off, but still getting back his senses. Um, and that's all you see at the moment, the end of your turn running all the way over there. Okay. Okay. All right. No enemies around at all. Uh, not that you can oh, tell. Sure. I mean, there's that thing on the ground, but you can't quite tell what it is. Okay. All right. So um, then there is after your turn goes back to that one. That one. Nico, your turn. What do you do? Stand up. Look at uh, look at Karen. Say, nice of you to show up. And then I go walk into the walk into the room. You gonna go walk into the room? Make me a dexterity save. Um, a saving throw oh, D4. of... D4, D4. Oh, go ahead, add it. Oh, wait, actually, hold on, hold on. You took 30 it's points of damage. Check. You took damage, 30 yeah. points of damage. Make oh, me your constant, your concentration save, a constitution save of 15. I, I physically cannot make that. A 15? 15? I, it, it's half damage or 10, whichever's higher. Gotcha. Oh, that's my right <laughs> I believe, I believe that we will win. So you do not get to add Damn a it. D4. Your dexterity save is a failure. 
And so therefore you're going to take can't be as bad as the initial blast. Uh, four points of fire damage. As, as you go back in, in there, you didn't notice this before, but now you do. There's like this arc of fire that's like <laughs> every once in a while, like bursts outwards and whips around the room really quickly, um, uh, hitting probably everything in the room, definitely at least the perimeter of the room. So as you go in, it catches you off guard by the fact that there's like effectively a solar flare coming from this cracked shard that's not quite floating anymore where it was. The cracks are spreading out more and more and this bursts of solar flares happening. Seems as though this thing hasn't completely shattered yet. You thought it did because huge chunks came off and that the sound and what you experienced, but hasn't finished shattering quite just yet. Again, a solar flare came off and hit you for that. Do you still try to press into the room? Okay, you make your way across the room trying to find your way over to your brother. Make me another um, uh, save. Because you're uh, ending your turn in here. Okay, you're going to take half damage, but it's going to be the same thing. Uh, uh, this time you take five more points of fire damage as you push your way back into the room, bringing you down to, I think, only 18 health, right? Thir 17 health. Yes. You huh? said four plus five is nine minus I, I i had 30 after the the blast so i am now at 21. uh what do you mean four because you dealt me a total of 30 damage oh you said um, yeah, no five plus eight buddy i don't i don't know where you're getting your math from you took eight you, 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 initially told, said you, four. Said, you yeah. said four to me so that's where i was getting my math oh yeah. so it I'm popped sorry. Out eight, but you said that would bring me to seven it is 17. okay i don't know why i said four you didn't take half yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. 17. There we go. My, I'm sorry. If I misspoke, my apologies. It was an 18 yeah. and a 5, so you took and a total of 17. Right? I okay. didn't want to do this, but bonus action, I'm going to heal myself 10. Okay. <laughs> and through the debris and everything, you use your whole turn trying to get your way over there, sans the bonus action, which you use to, uh, to uh, heal yourself 10. Um, you made your way over there. All right, so now you're in there. Let's go over to... And by the way, it's not like it's easy to see in there. Uh, there's smoke and stuff like that, so it's hard to see what you're looking for. Uh, after you is going to go to... Well, you did. Uh, I've always going to go to... Well, we don't know what's going on with that shit yet. Probably dead. Um, now it's down to Kieran's turn. Kieran, <laughs> you just I saw him so try to walk sure. into the room. You just saw him yeah. try to walk into the room and got blasted by fire. And then put you back and push in anyways. I mean, ah, I'm not doing that. You don't know what determination just happened. Do you go to like investigate or what are you doing? Yeah, I'll go to investigate. Um, am I too far away to actually try to make contact with the elemental? So you walk over to the door and you look into mm -hmm. the room. Make me an arcana check, please. But do you have an advantage on these because it's the shit or no? No, my uh, my shit is elsewhere. It's mostly deal with like storms and knots and stuff like that and actual sailing stuff, not this. So. Okay. Well, then you don't get advantage. Mm-hmm. I'm not a trainer, Arcana, either. But I roll pretty well. Yeah, you did roll mm. pretty well. Um, so you make your way uh, <coughs> into the uh, – so you make your way over to there and you look around and you can see that this crystal – is on the mm -hmm. verge of, of breaking apart. It's probably going to shatter. But for now, it's somehow holding the uh, fire mm -hmm. elemental inside. It's somehow holding it together so it hasn't completely broken out. Um, mm -hmm. If you can get to it, because of the state that it's in, if you can get to it, you could probably communicate with it. But you're not going to be able uh, to do it from here. You're going to have to be able to go yeah. in. Hold on. So You okay. already saw what happens. And mm -hmm. you can see that not in a perfect pattern it's somewhat sporadic mm -hmm. but in a semi pattern is what the solar flares are bursting out in right okay so that yep. being said and you already witnessing it make me an intelligence um save please oh dear she's not a smart one <laughs> not, not say that I, i'm sorry i cannot give you advantage on your deck save That's to fair. time it okay okay so the deck save now uh, if you choose to go uh, across the room to try to interact with the crystal, yes. I do. Is it all on, like, the same plane of surface? Like, is it all, like, like bursting out, like, in a single, like, solar flare pattern? Imagine a it... large cracked crystal with chunks missing from yeah. it, and a solar okay. flare will come out uh, as, like, an arm and just kind of, like, whip around the room and go back. And okay. like, disperse. we're gonna just do it. I don't have anything to add to it, so I'm just gonna roll. 
That would be perfect, but you rolled a con save. No! Damn it! <laughs> is it the same modifier? Just, is it the same just, modifier? Um, no, it's one less. It's one less. You wasted so, your nat 20. I did. I did. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You still rolled the die, right? No, Scott, we've done that Scott, consistently. We've always said re roll. We've oh, always, always done re roll. <laughs> but. but uh, it would have been perfect, but no, I missed That's weird. It. I see you rolling a 16 on that one, and it gave you a save, a total save of 14. Yeah, it's the base has been weird tonight. That work? What? It's, it, I see it on an 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. I see it as a 16. I don't know why. I can't see my die. My die disappeared off the map. Yeah, so. I, I clicked it already. <laughs> it's gone. I see, I see an 11. <laughs> chat, chat, chat sees an 11 too. So, okay. Um. All right. All right. So if we had action points, I would add that to it, but I don't. So. Uh, no, you do not have action points. So you guys, um, uh, all right, let me roll my damage. All right. Wasted that D. That oh man. Actually, you take half damage though, because it's DC fourteen. My apologies. So uh, you still take half damage. Yeah, she doesn't have health. health. I don't have health. You took two, and you have nine. You're good. Stop whining. So okay. You do actually take half damage because you beat the DC 14 and you're able to go into the room taking out. Pff, ah! Two damage. But make your way over to the crystal. So your turn was spent walking up, investigating everything, blah, blah, blah. Make your turn to the crystal. So you can. What are you going to do? I am going to try to speak primordial to the elemental inside and try to calm it down because uh, it's freaking the fuck out. Chill. Uh, what do That's you say? You. Would you tell fire to chill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like. This is the life of a uh, badass. Obviously, translation is going to be a little <clears throat> different from common to primordial, but I am just going to say I know your confinements are cracked and this is uncomfortable. Please dial it down. By several hundred notches. Um, if you have to fall out of the sky, do so perhaps as slowly as you can. Gracefully. And it is it is just it, like a very slow like way I'm talking. Um, normally when I say primordial, um, I speak primordial. I'm doing it in a very thundering voice and is the oral accent. I'm trying to be um, do they. The ignin one, Soothing. but in, in like a very like calm like simmer, mm -hmm. compared to what I normally would do. Yeah. Uh, so can I, like I make it. a persuasion check? Uh, you most certainly Perhaps. can make a persuasion check. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck up. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. Nice. Eek. Nice. Oh, that too scared the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> My heart stopped for a moment. Yeah. Roll me a deck save. As it whips you in the face. You can fuck this up if you want. I... Yeah, you can fuck this up, just it's, not too it's bad. It's okay, it's average. You fail. Epic fail. Just don't take seven damage. You you are up with oh. one health point. Oh. Oh, Holy no. shit. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. That is okay. fortunate. Up with one health point. Okay. Okay. So I still conscious. <laughs> so here we go. So, oh man, uh, after your turn, de back down to Reich and uh, Stalbor. Quick question. Shoot. Would uh, Reich and Stalbor have felt boom. more damage done to the ship? Yeah, there's explosions happening overhead and the things moving and whatnot, but that doesn't matter because okay. they're below deck, so they're safe from it right now. If fire starts to break, it'll be a bigger issue. So okay. um, they're focused on their problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Reich, make your attack. Stalbor, make a Arcana check in case you want to make any last minute adjustments. Nah, I mean, he wouldn't have been even making Arcana checks. He would have been smashing. So you want him to start point. smashing now? Go right ahead. Yeah, yeah. We'll get him to do a little bit of smash. Oh, man. Elf smash. Hey, you hit something. And actually, I'm using you did the damage. Pummel, you see, that's the thing. Nice. So you see him starting to chip away at it with his sword. Reich, make a punch check. The old one, two. Damage. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Stalbor, make another attack. 
What's your name? Gosh. What's your name? <laughs> Rude. What's your name, man? <laughs> it's almost 7 a.m. there, Ollie. Jeez. Yeah, I'm suffering for multiple reasons. And because you said that, he's missing. Uh, and now it's uh, it's Reich's turn. Uh, do damage. And now one last attack for uh, Reich. He's fast. Sadly, nothing. Nothing with that last one. Uh, I don't the crystal want to win. is on the verge of breaking, but hasn't quite finished yet. It's literally the. Uh, air is starting to eep out of it. It's on the verge of shattering. Uh, let's go back to the attention up there real quick. Nico. What you see walking around the corner, it's not a pretty sight. Your brother is. Uh, his cloak is charred. Whether or not it's okay, I don't know. That was a lot of money for the party. The cloak is charred. Uh, he's not moving. They're not moving at all. Oh, man. Yeah. It's not all looking right. good right now. I'm going to grab him by the collar. I'm going to look at the woman that he was by trying to collar. shield. Oh, what's left of the collar? I'm going to look at the woman he was trying to shield. How does she look? You grab him by the collar and try to move him back, but she's alive. Some 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 burns, some singes, but she's alive. Your brother seems limp as you like lift him out of the way. Seems limp, not moving, like he's just dead weight that you moved out of the way. But she's the, like you've moved bodies off of bodies on a battlefield before. So I look at, living. I look at her. She's um, she's alive. Is she conscious? Yeah, and crying like joy and fear. Uh, how does her chains look? Is she is she still chained down? Yeah, uh, at least one of her hands and, and both of her legs. One, one hand is free. Is there any part of this room that isn't completely on fire? Uh, yeah, uh, most of the room is not actually on fire. It's whips of fire uh, coming around the room, and there's smoke and whatnot. Uh, make me a perception check, please. You notice that the floorboards and everything around are all fucking weak from the explosion, the fire, and the whips of, uh, of solar flares and whatnot. Um, the floorboards all around there. Instead of releasing her chains, it might be easier just to break the floor her chains are connected to. Like I said, it was unceremoniously drilled into, you know, planks. Well, my uh, Nico would not give up on Luca. He's going to throw him over his shoulder, take my sword, and then smash it into the, uh, into the floor to break up the boards. Okay. Um, you want me to attack? Uh, uh, yes. You hit the woman. It's a good thing I don't do critical fumble rolls, huh? Otherwise, you'd be se se severing her arm. That'd be <laughs> super fucking heroic. ridiculous, dude. That'd be super Twice. heroic, right? <laughs> oh, man. Fumbles are retarded. I, I don't, Five percent of the time, I turn into an idiot. I don't do critical fumbles. But you obviously miss. You do not harm the floor in the least bit. Um, it, it doesn't help whatsoever. So you just instantly fail. Um, that is, I'm say, you... I say to her, stay here. I'll be uh, stay here. Stay low. I need to get him out and then I'm coming back for you and I'm going to move him. Okay. Make me back safe. Okay. <sighs> Fucking rolls tonight, man. Seven more points of fire damage for you. Nope. That's one of the health now. Yep. Um, and you go out do and I, you... Do I get out of the room? Uh, you do, but that fire damage also whips around and starts to grab her. As you're carrying her out of the room, you notice something. That fire whips around the room and it goes to burn her, now no longer with your brother on top of her to protect her. But um, when you go to put him down and the fire whips around and you hear her let out a yelp, at the same time, you feel your brother jostle for a moment. As she lets out a yelp. You make your way out of the room. What do you do with him? I'm going to put him on the ground. Okay, you go to put him on the ground. But as you go to like lower him down, it's not like he's like all folded and easy and just like you put him lying on his back. Actually, as you go to put him on the ground, he just lands on his feet and he seems to be standing. 
I look at him. So you're kind of like <laughs> it's it's like strange. So you like slowly stand up to look at him, and fuck? whether or not he's conscious, you're not entirely sure. But he is standing there, and he's looking, but not at you. Kind of off into the distance, his eyes glowing. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I like look at him for a second like I have to deal with this in a moment and, and I'm that, gonna have to that's, go that's Nico's turn back. at the moment alright let's go down to the next one uh, don't worry about him let's go to Kieran Kieran you're in there you're holding on to this thing you're on the verge of death and you're grabbing this thing and you're trying to coerce it to calm down make for me with your amazing um, uh, what's it called check that you had done you did it an amazing um, persuasion check Make me a vehicles check with a advantage. Okay. I believe in you, Aaron. Don't fuck this up. Oh, doing the bad. best you can on a controlled free fall. Somewhat, this is easier to do because it's made out of sore wood. Though the sore wood is uh, mm -hmm. has way too much weight to it. Uh, note to mm -hmm. chat in case you don't know what sore wood is. It's something that can naturally float if properly treated. Um, if it's not bearing too much weight. So um, it, it, the, 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 the sore wood is uh, being weighed down and being pulled down. But pff, pff, little bits of pff, fire, much like you imagine like an air balloon or something like that, pff, little bits of fire are mm -hmm. trying to, and you're doing the best you can with what you have, and it seems to be working. But this thing's whipping around with this crazy fire. The crystal's literally cracking in front of you. It's shattering mm -hmm. and it's cracking in front of you. Uh, mm -hmm. Things are falling apart. You're wrapping your arms around it, trying to hold it together, and it's not going well. Nico, you see that she's literally in there trying to hold it together, but it is not going well. If you're going to save this girl, you're almost out of time. Okay? I'm working on it. Um, now let's cut down to below on the ship. It's the two of you, great. Reich and Stalbor. You're trying to break this thing. Stalbor, make your attack. I don't want to anymore. <laughs> I don't want to. You hit starboard. <laughs> do you damage? Please don't. <laughs> Max damage. Starboard, you had a plan. What was it aside from shattering this thing? Free it. One... Talk to it. Fly. The plan was a lot better before I got tired and mad. <laughs> so <laughs> the crystal shatters. It does. And it sadly does a little bit of an explosion down there. Both of you guys make me a saving throw. Dex. Uh... Yes. Um, Stalbor takes nine points of damage. Uh, Reich takes, takes absorb half element. Wait, wait, what type of damage is it? Uh, a uh, combination. No, it's actually it's a combination between electricity and uh, piercing. Uh, oh, if it's a combination, it's not worth it. Okay, well, how much was it? Nine? I'm unconscious. Well, you know, you have more than nine health. Oh, you already took. No, no if, I already got hit. I'm actually did, bleeding out. Actually, if you if you it. did that. If Stalbor did his uh, absorb element, you would absorb half of the damage, and you would still be conscious. Yes. But you said it was combination. Yeah, combination. So it would only half. absorb. It would only absorb half of half. Oh. So I would be still yeah. be alive on like one. Yeah, you'd there you go. Know. Like, you'd still be alive then. I don't know, I mean, not being down. Sure, but I mean, I guess. It's like your only option. Yeah. Don't expect yeah. any good strategy from this point on. No, no, that's perfectly fine. We're almost done with it, anyways. So, um, uh, the thing comes free. And there it is, standing there in front of you, exploding free. And the thing is, like, released and happy to have been released. And now it's standing there looking at you. What do you choose to do with it? What do you what do you say? I don't think either of us can speak Primordial. Can you speak Primordial? No, he, I, he, Star Wars is just going to start speaking in, 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 in common. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and what, what do you say to me? <laughs> we freed you. We need to fly upwards. Save our friends. But mostly, like, pointing and... <laughs> you I, I assist with pointing. Breathe. Fly. <laughs> it's oh. a very visual communication right now. Okay, so the 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 uh, elemental inside the shard said that it can't grab both of you. It's too small. You're too heavy. So what it's going to do is it's going to grab just the one that's speaking to it, and it's going to grab you, Stalbor, and right. um and f start flying you up. <laughs> Flies up at an incredibly fast speed to a ship that's coming down. <laughs> okay, here we are. Nico, do your action. Get it done. All right. So, I'm going to uh, what's her face? 
So, deck save. Okay. On my way over, uh, do I go past Aaron's character? Very good deck save. Uh, that's fucking amazing. You run past Aaron's character. You can't do anything about it. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Yep. No. Action. What? I'm not nope, going to let what? you grab me. No, that's not what he's doing. I'm not okay. going to grab you. I'm touching you. Lay on oh, okay. hands. Oh, let heal okay. Her, let me heal her 10 points of damage. Don't heal me. <laughs> Don't heal me. <laughs> you're a change man. <laughs> Unfortunately. Might be. If I did the, if I didn't do that, Aaron would have probably died. But uh, I'm gonna go over. I I don't I I can't attack this turn, so I'm done. So you well, you lay on hands. Can you? Oh, um, just do me a favor. Action. When you run over there, make a strength check for me. Strength check. Uh huh. You do not uh, do the thing. All right. Sadly, this is not gonna work out so well for that poor young lady. Um. You guys are inside there. Uh, Kieran, you're trying to hold this thing I'm together. Trying. It is falling apart. Everything is going poorly. When all of a sudden the thing is literally on the verge of exploding. When mm -hmm. you looking at this thing and you look over and you see Nico trying to shatter the boards, trying to do anything he can to get this woman free. Her life is in danger. It's all forfeit. It can't be done. And that's when you just kind of like, despite the fact that the blasts are coming out, you reach forward literally as a solar flare is coming out and you put your hands in the way of the solar flare, effectively catching it in your hands. And another one mm -hmm. on the actual stone itself, almost acting like a conduit to the uh, elemental energy pouring out, taking that flame out of through your hand and putting it back into the stone. Mm -hmm. And you start just like uh, holding on to this thing. You see Kieran's eyes. She blinks for a second, like in pain. She's wincing. She's in so much pain but when she her eyes begin to open you see that they are also glowing similar to how your brother's eyes are and she's letting out this like, like it starts low but starts letting out this like primordial scream as like all of this pain and everything is washed over her body and she's doing everything she can to contain this this uh force um nico make me another strength check strength da, 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 da. You smash open those boards, snatching up the girl and trying to run out of there as quickly as you can with her, uh, diving uh, through the, the, the doorway and everything to get out of the way as another burst of energy starts ripping uh, through this area with a huge chamber of fire. That fire, uh, Kieran's character, uses all of the power that she just found within herself and starts taking that fire and channeling it through the struts to slow it down one last time so as it hits the water, as like some of the actual... Uh, uh, the water itself starts to absorb some of the weight of the uh, of the ship to get the crystal inside the water. It, it makes things a lot easier. The Sorwood doing the rest of the job. This thing is barely holding itself together. Kieran is able to stop it from a crash land below on the ship that's beneath um, and on the uh, uh, destroying the, sh the airship itself. Uh, meanwhile, Nico back in the uh, hallway looking at uh, what's his name? Looking at his brother Luca. Nico looking at his brother Luca, he can see his brother Luca is still standing there. Uh, he, he's all sorts of messed up, all sorts of mangled. His eyes are glowing, but then he blinks a couple times and his senses come back too. His eyes no longer glowing, but a different part of him is. As a matter of fact, the back of his right hand is glowing with a very familiar looking mark. That hand looks ridiculous. Something, something that you've <clears throat> seen before many times in your family. Blinking his eyes and gaining his senses, you see that the back of your brother's hand has a dragon mark on it—the mark of the sentinel. I like—I I was reaching out to like go heal him, but I just like stop and just stare at his hand for a moment. Does he seem conscious? He does. I just like and look at him, does. look at the back of his hand, and I reach over and I touch him, and I, I smile and I say. <sighs> Lucky bastard. And I heal him for the last uh, uh, five of the uh, lay on hands that I have left. Inside the, uh, the other room, uh, walking out, uh, smoking, clothes completely charred, smoke coming off of her body, walking out not gracefully and not with determination, but happy to be doing so just alive. You see Kieran coming out. Once again, her eyes no longer glowing, but a different part of her is... There is a mark that seems to be on her. You see that Kieran is now 
uh, emblazoned with the mark of the storm. Whatever it was that happened today, whatever it was that you guys had done, this action, for whatever value it was in the world, awoken something within your brother and your companion. And the two of them have, uh, have, have marks emblazoned on them now. And with that, we are going to end chapter one of, what was it, Eberron chapter one, uh, political theater. And we're going to take a, 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 a quick break before we come back to the show. But just so you know, uh, not, not now, sorry, in the future. I'll, uh, let me phrase this better. Uh, we're ending this chapter. And when we do come back, when chapter two comes back, it is going to be Eberron chapter two, reap what you sow. So thank you guys so much. That was a fun beginning of a game. <laughs> Introduction to the characters, to the world, to everything else that's going to be happening. I, I enjoyed it very much. Thank you, Ollie, for staying awake till 7 in the morning. Uh, we all appreciate that. You're exhausted. <laughs> Won't happen again until Yara. the end of the next chapter. Um, so, so, so thank you very much. Let's go around the table quickly so we can say who we are. And, uh, and we're going to run out of here. So, Ollie, before you uh, face plant and die... Who are you? Where can we find you? And what's going on exciting this week? I'm Ollie. Go to twitter.com slash Ollie or, or uh, twitch.tv slash Ollie Rant. It's actually slash Ollie Rant because that's how it is. I'm streaming on Sunday. I'm playing Dark Souls. If you want to see me get just as mad, then <laughs> that will happen. Uh, also... On Tuesdays and Fridays at 9 p.m. BST, I do art streams. Whoa, that's cool. I'm an artist. And on Wednesday, the the D and D stream. I'm gonna be on Scott's Mass Effect stream, and then I have a D and Street D and D stream later at 7 p.m. BST or two America time. But there's multiple America times, so check with your local provider. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> golly! Oh my god! All right. Um, and oh, then I, I'm not going to tell you about all of the crazy things. I'm just going to reiterate what Ollie just said about next Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 1 p.m. I believe um, in uh, Ollie's time or 2 p.m. Ollie's time. Yeah, 2 p.m. Ollie's time. Uh, we are going live with me GMing a Mass Effect game. Fuck yeah, Mass Effect. It's going to be so much fun. Mass Effect tabletop game. So good. It's actually... Scott has done all this homebrew that's actually really fucking awesome. Like the credit is deserved wholeheartedly. Seconded. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. And then um, th that's going to be a four hour stream. We're going to take an hour break, uh, which is less than an hour for us on on the not uh, mm -hmm. watching mm -hmm. side. And uh, we're going to come back for another four hour stream where Ollie's DMing a game in his homebrew world with some homebrew uh, rules to 5e. And I'm super excited about that because I get to play an undead dwarf. So check us out. That's going to be 2 p.m. Don't see that Eastern every day. Time. No. Whoa. Don't. It's going to be awesome. Whoa. All right. Thank you all so much. I'm super excited. We finally got to finish the chapter. There is a level of the characters and dragon marks gained. So with oh, that being up. said, um, you guys... Whew. Have yourself a great time. We'll see you with this campaign sometime in the near future. Future. Is that it? See ya. Do I do I just do I do I sign off now? Do it. I, I don't I do don't want to sign off now. All right.